So our lucky day was here. We actually got invited to try out this amazing new single track by some trail builders, which is still in the works. However, we were told not to give out its location, so sorry about that, but perhaps one day it will be available. So on this day, I decided to try out the KLX 250 since the elevation is much lower. And to be honest, I anticipated the single track to actually be flat, but in this case, it actually was not. Believe me, the single track is fairly steep. And on video, it looks fairly mild and kind of flat. thing is, uh, we're riding at about, I think, 5,000 feet elevation, so it's not that bad. Whew, it's just a non-stop climb, man. But the entire single track up the mountain was a non-stop grade to the top until, of course, we ran into the other trails they are building, which I believe is around 50 inches from what I can remember. Or maybe it was a full-size jeep road, not 100% sure. And that's the only time I got a break when things started to flatten out. This single track has been pretty cool. Rocky as shit, but... Oh, that was tight. <laughs> So these high revving sounds you are hearing from the KLX is actually me clutching the heck out of it in order to get moving again, at full throttle, because of how steep some of these sections were. It just kind of gives you an idea of the grade we were on, but the KLX 250 managed to pull through with no problem. Of course, there was tons of rider errors done by me, which probably caused me to mess up a few times. But that's how you learn and get better. But regardless, this was a great area to test out the KLX 250 on steeper terrain, but the elevation was definitely on my favor. Instead of riding the normal 7,000 to even 8,000 feet elevation I normally do, this was about 5,000 feet during this small trip. So it was the first time I've ever, ever ridden the KLX 250 on single track and under 6,000 feet elevation. That's right. Now I do ride the KLX 250 on an area called Penrose. I think that's around 6,000 feet elevation, maybe 5,000 feet elevation. However, most of the terrain out in Penrose is pretty flat. I mean, it does have a grade to it, but it's nothing crazy like out in Rampart Range or, or perhaps like seven miles or something like that. So this was the only opportunity to ever ride the KLX 250 on steep single track and under 6,000 feet elevation. So this was definitely unique because the KLX 250 is always in higher elevation. So it's never fair to let's say justify the power of the KLX 250 due to its elevation obviously just robbing power. However, 5,000 feet elevation, it's still robbing quite a bit of power, but nothing like 7 or even 8,000 feet elevation. 
I even remember driving the KLX, well, not driving, but riding the KLX 250 up on an area called Mount Atero. Mount Atero, I believe, starts off at like 11,000 feet elevation, and towards the top, it starts peaking at almost 14,000 feet elevation. Actually, I think towards the top of Mount Atero is 14,100 feet elevation. And sadly, the KLX 250 could not climb this, this trail. And the trail wasn't even that hard. The trail is just 14,000 feet elevation. Of course, there's a lot of mods you can do, like EFI and, and a bunch of other stuff. But for the most part, I, I just try to challenge the KLX 250 when it's in its stock form. Besides, the KLX 300 and the CRF 300 are already out anyways. These V-shaped single tracks, man. They're definitely something else. Oh my god. It definitely is a lot of a workout. And for my taste, suspensions are a bit too flush, but... But on this day, I was glad to be riding around here because let me tell you, I don't know if you've ever ridden this type of terrain, which all high mountain desert states have them, such as Arizona, California, New Mexico, and of course Colorado. This stuff can be pretty slick, or actually, it is slick. Especially at an incline, with the loose shale rock, and what we call it is sugar dirt. Kind of like sugar sand, but dirt, I guess if that kind of makes sense. Anyhow guys, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll be touring all over Colorado, probably even more of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, pro probably even Wyoming. So be sure to hit that bell button so you can explore trails with me and I'll catch you guys on my next video.